Hey everybody, welcome back to day five of the Mood Mindfulness Challenge with ARC. Today we are looking at um, how we feel when it rains. And the reason why I came up with this prompt is because uh, rain is another uh, one of, well, water. Rain is water, right? And water is another one of the elements uh, provided to us by nature. Now, if you study uh, nature and the signs of nature, they are a wonder to us and they support us coming from uh, the heavens and coming from the source of creation. S nature is here to support us and to be a sign of wonder for us and to remind us that we are all uh, unified as one collective consciousness here to support one another. It's the whole point of this challenge is to remind us that we are in this together. We are all here for each other. And I wanted to tie it in with the five elements this week. If you have a look at the theme for this week, we are looking at how our universe supports us and how when we are caught in our mood, we can reflect outside and turn to nature to help us process our emotions. So today I'm thinking about water. And I, as soon as I thought about that, I thought, you know what, well, where does water come from? Water comes from the heavens. That's the only source that water does come to us from. We can recycle it all we like. Hey, Sophie, lovely to see you. We can recycle it all we like, but we know that water falls from the heavens and then it trickles down through the mountains, down through streams, and streams do end up in the ocean. And then it evaporates up into the clouds and so the cycle continues. So it's lovely to know that we are being supported and that we're all part of a process. So I want you to also consider that cycle, that cycle of how water transforms. I want you to take that big picture and put it into emotions. So when an emotion comes to us and it gets stuck, it starts off as something, turns into something else, and finally releases and lets go. So I want you to think of, in the middle of your stress, in the middle of your anxiety, I want you to think of a beautiful raindrop, like one single raindrop amongst many, that comes down from the sky, a beautiful, unique raindrop, finding its way through the mountains and the crevices, down to a new stream, making its way down with everybody, fighting and struggling, then flowing easily, and then transforming and developing into a much greater collective, whether it's a collection of, you know, a pond or a large reservoir, finally the ocean. But basically what we're saying is that water each water is single on its own. It's one droplet, one molecule, but she's also a part of many, right? So much like us, we are all single, we are all unique. However, we're one of many, and together we create a body of people, a body of a collection of, emo of, of consciousness. But we still maintain our identity as we travel through our journey along with everybody else. So maintaining yourself outside of the collective is really important. And although we're all going together, your uniqueness, your individuality is really important. So if you think of it and you come into an, a time when your emotions are so strong, we want you to think of the water drop that comes and travels through and has a journey and at times it struggles and at times it lets go and at, and at times it finds its flow and at times it enters a massive ocean and it says oh my god i am you know i'm fresh water what am i going to do in salt water and it adapts and it's and it makes its way through and then when it reaches the top of the of the ocean and it starts to evaporate it changes once again it changes from a liquid state to a gaseous state goes back out into the universe so are we okay so are we we change when things are difficult we sit with it for a while we process it and then we change and we do what needs to be done to continue on our journey 
so too does emotions. When we have um, deep, deep emotions, like it could be anger, and then you can s process it for some time, sit with it, have a chat to somebody, then you realize that, okay, I have understanding. I, um, I, I, I've processed what's happening. The anger is now shifting into, into acceptance. The anger could now be shifting into compassion. The anger could now be shifting from, I hate that they've done that. Well, that's interesting. They've done that, which means that to me, what's important is safety. What's important to me is uh, people. What's important to me is whatever. So the anger is a message once again, and I've said this before, emotions is learn is your is a message that you need to learn about yourself, about the world, plus coupled with a charge. So if we are able to look and process and get out of the emotion, the lesson that we need to learn and actually just let go of the energy. And then we'll be able to change the feeling, the meaning of the emotion into something where we learn and we process it and it shifts and it shifts within us. And then that's where you gain that understanding and you go, oh, I get it now, I get the message. And immediately you get that release of that energy and you're left with, I know what I need to do. Um, I'm now more understanding. I'm now more loving. I love myself more. I love that I stood up for myself. I love that I won't let anyone treat me like that again. You kind of get, you get the message from the emotion if you sit with it and understand why it is it's upsetting you um, or, or, or frustrating you or whatever that emotion is. So today I have my little um, humidifier here. And the reason why I love this one is because it, it kind of like bubbles inside and I hear the water and it's really calming. And it reminds me of those beautiful nights when I just close my eyes and you hear the rain outside, the rain, the abundance coming down from the heavens, supporting us here for us to, you know, audibly, audibly the sound is pleasing. And from there, our brain waves, our brain wave state changes, and we relax. We go from a beta all worried to an alpha more relaxed. And the more you sit with the rain, alpha, um, beta then goes to alpha, alpha then goes to delta, delta then goes to gamma, and you're into a deep, deep sleep. So I feel that that rain helps change our brain wave st state and creates calm in our body and allows us to let go of whatever emotion we have. So find your water source. Some people are more watery than others and we talk about temperaments a lot and different temperaments are more have more affinity with each of the different uh, natural elements. So some people are more earthy, some people are more watery, some people are more airy, and it all, it's got, all got to do with your temperaments. And once again, I, I can't wait to get into temperaments with everyone. It's really, really exciting. Uh, but see how your relationship with water is. Uh, you guys know I, I, I'm, I'm a beach goer, love the beach. So salty water and that rush of the ocean, I love that. But also, you know, soft, flowing, meandering streams are gorgeous and clear ponds of beautiful water is also gorgeous and you'll find that water will be an avenue for you to release emotion so whenever you feel like there's emotion stuck get out into nature and find your body of water similarly would they say create your own body of water like run a bath and slip into the water and feel that change, that, that kinesthetic on your body. Feel yourself being enveloped, feel yourself being accepted, feel yourself being enveloped by water and beautiful qualities of water. Water is very, very healing. That's all I got for you guys today. That's right, oh, the quote, the quote, the quote. So how does the quote fit in? As I let go of the need to arrange my life, the universe brings abundant good to me. So yeah, uh, sometimes we need, we need, we need, and then it rains. It rains when it's ready to rain. But the important thing is, is that sometimes when we're stuck, 
when we've got so many things that we don't allow the new things to come down. So let go, create space, and allow the abundance from the universe to find you. Remember, what you ask for, you will get. Absolutely the truth. When you put it out there in the world, it'll come to you. So send out all those positive, beautiful uh, prayers, affirmations, manifest. Manifesting is all about, I'm ready. I've, I've created space in my heart for this. I'm ready for it. Bring it to me and it will come. I hope this serves you guys today. I hope you uh, take some time and find a body of water today. Uh, and um, yeah, sending out all my love to everybody in over on the eastern states where they've got, gosh, a lot of water. A lot, a lot of water. Um, and um, take care, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow for day six.